Hi everybody, I'm Chantel and I am doing a review on the Media 2.1 Portable Electric Washer. I have a review on the Magic Chef 2.6 Portable Electric Dryer um, on my channel, so if you want to check that one out, you can. I wanted to do a review on this machine because I did not see a lot on YouTube and I had a lot of unanswered questions um, from the reviews that I read on like Walmart.com or Amazon.com, etc. Where I purchased the machine, I got it from Quill.com and it was priced at $2.98. They gave me a $20 coupon for signing up for their emails, so that came up to two. 78 I used 3% cash back on Ebates and then with Quill you got free shipping there were no taxes so that was like a blowout for me for this size of a machine bad thing about the shipping and it was shipped with UPS is there were a couple of dings see that however the dings did not affect the way that the machine works so I was like all right I'll just keep I'll just be okay with that the one thing well, I did purchase it with my Visa credit card for extra protection besides the manufacturer's warranty um, just in case those, those type of things happen. I'm not going to bore you with all the details on the settings of the machine. You can kind of just check those out right now. It is washing right now and right in the middle of the wash, it kind of just sits and lets the clothes soak. I have my kids' daycare clothes in there. Um, it comes with a detergent dispenser. I don't really use that. I either use Game Flings or the Pot Tide Pod since I am a couponer and I get those dudes so cheap. I'm overflowing with them. It also has, can't find it, oh, right here a lint collector so you can take that out between washes. I usually take it out like every three washes and clean it out. Um, okay, so it just kind of sits in soap. The reason why I chose the Midia over the Magic Chef or the Hire or the Avanti is that one, it came with all the pieces that you need in order to plug it up and get it working. And then two, there was a quick, that came with the quick connect and it also came with the piece to connect your sink to the quick connect if your sink wasn't necessarily compatible. I'll get into how that works in a minute. It does have two types of hoses. It comes with the cold water hose and a hot water hose, which I'm not using the hot water hose. Um, and it also comes with a closure so that you can close up the back of whatever hose that you're not using. And here I have the hot water um, closed up. One day on accident, I mean, I do ha I keep my setting on cold and um, I do use the cold water hose. But one day on accident, I was, <laughs> I used the hot water and the machine didn't give me an er error message. It did not work. It did what it was supposed to do. So I was happy with that. As far as a connect, quick connect goes, it does leak a little bit, but it leaks right into the sink, so I'm okay with that. I'm, you know, some people went and got plumber's tape and do all this other stuff to keep it from leaking, and it's not a big deal for me because it leaks right in my sink. The drain holes, fortunately for me, since I don't have a lot of counter space, it's able to fit right into the sink, so it drains right into the sink, which you guys will see in a minute. It hooks up normally like a normal I think that's a 110 volt um 110 volt outlet so it hooks up normally on that end as far as the way that the clothes come out they come out fresh clean smelling great light they aren't they aren't dripping wet like all you have to do is just kind of shake them out to shake the wrinkles out to put them right in the dryer I am 110 percent happy with the machine a couple of FAQs or a couple of things that you may want to be aware of. If you put too many towels or too many blankets in there at once, the machine will become unbalanced and it will knock. And when I say it knocks, it just kind of goes, like the machine goes side by side. So you have to open it up. Uh, you have to open it up and just kind of move things around to get it back balanced. Okay. Um, also, you can adjust the front to, I don't know what these called, pegs or whatever, to get it to where it doesn't rock side by side during the spinning cycle. I keep forgetting to get someone to help me do this, um, but I just kind of put this paper towel under there because it helps. It does have two wheels in the back and then the handles 
on the side to help you take it out or supposedly make it portable but it is heavy and it is not something that you want to move back and forth on a daily basis you want to try to put it somewhere where you can keep it there um, while you're using it um let's just see what else it is washing right now so i'll be quiet for a second hopefully my kids my kids will collab collaborate with me My kids are watching cartoons in the background, and as you can hear, it is fun. My kids are watching cartoons, and as you can hear, it's perfectly normal for them to watch cartoons. It's not loud. The loudest that it gets is during the spin cycle, and it's about like 25 seconds. It just kind of goes really, really loud, and then it goes back to normal. So, I'm trying to not to make this video too long and so that you can hear it in the spin cycle, but it's not, it looks like it's not ready to spin. And I think my kids are getting to the point where their Mickey show is going off and they are about to get a little bit loud. So I don't want to make this video too long and I don't want it to make it to where it's annoying hearing children in the background. So I'll end it there. Any questions, please let me know. Um, if you like it, thumbs up. Uh, if there's more information that I could give you, again, let me know. I will be more than happy to help you. And I will upload a video later of it during the spin cycle. I think that that will help so that you can hear it. Have a great day.